Do you have a thousand pictures on your phone that are duplicates or blurry or not great? Do you have apps that you haven't used in months? Do you have stuff all over your desktop so that when you go to find the file or folder that you're looking for, it takes you forever? This is what we call digital clutter. In recent years, there has been a huge interest in decluttering and organizing your physical space, your home, thanks to shows like the Home Edit and Marie Kondo. But where do we as humans spend just as much, if not more, of our time? in our digital world, on our phones, our tablets, our computers, and all other kinds of devices. And whether we realize it or not, a lot of times we're not using them as efficiently as possible because they are cluttered. So enter me and my digital declutter challenge. I'm Beth with Sheets and Systems, and I've helped hundreds of educators declutter their digital life in the classroom, and I decided it was time to take my tips, tricks, and products out to the rest of the world. Now, most of the people I work with and the clients that I've served, if you say declutter, they immediately whoop zone out because it sounds overwhelming. So the goal of this challenge is to take decluttering and make it simple and small and bite-sized. So every day I will have a challenge um, that a video that is less than five minutes with some simple action steps you can take that add up to big change over time. So whether you're doing this challenge every day with me the month that it released or you found these videos later, you can do this at your own pace. For our first week of the Digital Declutter Challenge, we will be looking at something that I know lots of people use but don't ever think about organizing and that is your Google Drive. Whether you have a free Gmail account, you work at a place that uses um, G Suite or you're a teacher like I was and that's your primary place of keeping your files, having an organized Google Drive can make your life a lot easier. Since organizing your Google Drive can be such an overwhelming task, I want to especially make sure that we break this down into bite-sized chunks. So today's video should be less than five minutes and is only one step out of six to completely reorganizing and decluttering your Google Drive. The very first step is just making folders. Let's dive in. Okay, so here is my Google Drive that has never been touched before. You'll notice that there are lots of folders, lots of just random documents. And so I need to start by making folders. That is our very first task is I want you to think of no more than 10 folders that you would need that could be your overall main categories that everything else could fit into. Once you have thought of your categories, you are going to create new folders, your 10 up to 10 main folders. So you can either do this by going to new and then clicking folder or going to my drive and new folder. So I'm going to go through and really quickly create the um, overall categories that I came up with. The topics that I decided to come up with were Google Sites, personal, first grade, social media, events, digital learning, and management. Now you'll notice that because I've taught first grade, um, they all of that stuff is up at the top, but I number my folders. So Google Sites was one, personal was two. And once we put all all of the subfolders in that will keep things in whatever order you want. If you don't have numbers at the front, then Google goes alphabetically. Um, you'll notice I also did them in all caps since my system can't quite work until I get everything um, subcategorized. So I went ahead and made them all caps so that they would stand out just a little bit more to help me do things more efficiently. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at my first folder and it says Google Sites. So I'm going to go through and find all of the folders that need to go into Google Sites. For example, I know that one needs to go in, so I would drag and drop. You can also choose multiple folders by hit clicking and then um, hitting Command and dragging them all at once, which is what I do to make things go as fast as possible. Okay, those are all of my Google Sites related things. So they all get dropped in there. Then my next folder I created was, we're going to go first grade. So I'm going to go ahead and start clicking and moving all of my first grade folders in there. And you'll notice that, boop, just like that, it's already making things look more organized. Okay, my second folder was personal, and I'm pretty sure there's only two that need to go in there. Then my next folder is events. So I'm going to go through and find all of my big events. What's that? And I'm going to drag them into events. And I've already noticed a couple where I've missed, and that is okay. For example, anchor charts would go in first grade. 
um, first grade would go in first grade. And then I'm going to keep doing that for all of the folders in the subcategory. Okay, so I've sorted all of my folders. Now you will notice that I have actually added resources and TPT purchases because those didn't fit into any of the other folders. And like I said, I think that up to 10 is a good amount um, to just keep things nice and crisp and clean and organized. That was step one in completely reorganizing your Google Drive, making folders. I hope you found this video informative. Tomorrow, we will continue with our digital declutter challenge with our next step in organizing our Google Drive, putting all of our files into folders. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did or didn't, let me know down below by hitting the like or dislike button so I know what else you guys want to see. If you have any questions, please leave a comment or shoot me an email so that I can help you um, in the best way possible. Make sure that you subscribe so that you can see all of the digital declutter videos along with on Tuesdays, I do a two minute tip for a way to organize and simplify different parts of your life. Finally, if you're not quite ready for us to be done with each other yet, there are lots of other ways we can connect, which are on the screen right now and are linked below. Um, and if you don't want to have to wait for the videos to come out each day or you prefer reading things instead of watching them, I also have a blog post that goes over all of these steps in detail. So I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you soon. Bye.